news stories in this NBA news cycle about the Lakers. LeBron James on the Lakers season. The reason why we were not very good is because we weren't on the damn floor together. Which, honestly, I don't think it was really... I don't think this is really true. I feel like even if they were on the floor together, they still would have lost the same amount of games. They might have won maybe like five or ten more. They might have made the plan barely, but honestly, it was defensively. And their defense was so bad that I don't think it would have mattered that much. They might have scored more points and might have been better, but honestly, I don't think that much would have changed. And they probably would have been out in the first round if they would have made the playoffs. What do you think about this, though? And what do you think? Would the Lakers season would have been different if... They have played all games together. I don't really think so. I still feel like there was, still would have been a problem. Defensively was their main thing, and offensively they struggled a lot this season. There's another story about the Lakers, and it's Westbrook on LeBron and AD saying let Russ be Russ throughout the season. Yeah, but that wasn't true, let's be honest, which I wonder what he's talking about. Maybe he wanted to bring up the flo ball up the floor more. Or he didn't get enough playing time, something like that, and they didn't really let Russ be Russ. But that's not really up to them in general. It's really up more to coaching, and Frank Vogel really didn't really... It seemed like him and Russ's relationship really wasn't that good, so that could have been reason as well. But what do you think about this? Were they not honest about him and let Russ be Russ? And also, Kevin Durant liked this post. I wonder what he would have to say about the situation. Honestly, he's probably pretty thankful that he doesn't have to play with Russ Westbrook anymore. And what do you think? Another Lakers story. It seems like every story today is about the Lakers. I'm not sure what his issue was with me. Russell Westbrook on Frank Vogel. His issue was is your play wasn't good enough. You were turning the ball over all the time. Missing simple layups all the time. I don't know. I just think he didn't really live up what they thought he was going to be. And Frank Vogel really had to bench him. And Some people thought that it came up from upstairs from Bus and also uh, Palinka as well. And Frank Vogel actually, I guess, defended Russ and let him play even more than he was supposed to be played, but I'm not sure if that's a confirmed rumor. But what do you think? Do you think of Russ and Frank Vogel? What do you think about the relationship? And was Frank Vogel? Did he not like Russ? What do you think? Hey, Smith on LeBron James and the Lakers' struggles this season. LeBron the player was an MVP caliber player. LeBron the general manager was horrid because he was the one that okayed and pushed for Russell Westbrook to arrive in Los Angeles. Which he might have done that, but Palinka definitely was the one who wanted that in general. I don't really know what went on with Russ. And I feel like he wasn't the same player he used to be, and that was the main reason. They thought he was a different player. They thought he was the Russ back in the, with the Rockets or o OKC. I think they thought of him differently and really didn't expect what was going to happen. But what do you think? And honestly, they had a, turn, a deal with DeMar DeRozan, and Palinka was the one who turned it down. For not giving him another third year and signing on. So, honestly, Stephen A. Smith, if you have anyone to blame, it should be Palenka.